This last week, we took a look at the story of Augie and his family in the film Wonder. And I'm really excited to talk about this movie because I think there's something in it for all of us to learn. And I think there's really kind of three categories we can find ourselves in to learn from this movie. And that's people who have been judged incorrectly, people who might be judging others incorrectly, and people who know someone who is being judged incorrectly. I remember the first time I saw the movie Wonder, it was in theaters with my friend Ryan and his mom. We were on Thanksgiving break from college and we were in Wichita, Kansas. And at the time there was this thing called Movie Pass. Now, Movie Pass still exists, but at the time how it worked is you would get from the company Movie Pass, you'd get this debit card. You paid $10 a month for it. And basically how it worked is you could spend money on that card at any movie theater anytime and see as many movies as you wanted, no matter what. You could see the same movie over and over again. I saw multiple movies two times in a row, like with different people. Now at the time it was $10 a month. Now MoviePass still exists, it costs a little bit more, but I remember when it came out, it was like, this is too good to be true. And I remember reading all the rules to make sure that I wasn't gonna lose a bunch of money somehow by paying for this subscription. And once I found out that they had to give me a certain amount of days of notification before they could change the price, I bought in and I was like, I'm gonna ride this wave till it lasts. And while I had Movie Pass, me and my roommate, Ryan, we saw so many movies that I never would have given the time of day before. And many of those movies I found to be really good and some of them quite challenging actually. And so during that time, I remember thinking like, wow, how many movies have I missed out on? Because just off the preview or the movie cover, I judged it in a certain way. Well, this time on Thanksgiving break, me and my buddy Ryan, we went, he used to work at the movie theater in town and we went to that movie theater like every day and saw a different movie. But I remember we were gonna see Wonder and he said, we have to wait because my mom wants to see it with us. So we waited and we went with his mom and we saw the movie. And that this, honestly, Wonder was one of those movies where I saw the preview and I was like, okay, great. It's a feel good family movie. I don't really have a lot of interest in seeing it, but we went, we saw it and it was really good. And as you saw in the message yesterday, it has a lot for us to learn. And really, I think it has such a good message about our character being the most important part of us, not how we look on the outside or the things that people see us doing. And it reminded me of a few scriptures. The first scripture is in the story of David being anointed as king. And what the, kind of how it goes is Samuel, he's a prophet, he goes and he's trying to find the king. And he goes to David's family and David is the youngest of a bunch of brothers. And the father brings out each brother one at a time. And every time Samuel sees one of these brothers, he's like, surely this is the Lord's anointed. And every time God says, nope, that's not it. And then there's a point in the scriptures where God says to Samuel, do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. That's the first scripture that I think of. And the second scripture is from Jesus. And in this scripture, Jesus is interacting with the Pharisees. And the Pharisees are accusing Jesus and his disciples of kind of being unclean and not washing their hands before they eat and all these different things. And what Jesus says to the Pharisees, he says, woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees. You hypocrites, you clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. And that imagery of like, we clean the outside of our dish, but don't clean the inside, like that would be kind of a tough life to live. A lot of our dishes would be full of germs. We'd get sick all the time. And what Jesus is saying here is like, you look great on the outside, but you're not, you're not focusing on your heart. You're not bringing your heart before the Lord. You're not looking at people the way that the Lord looks at people. And that's the battle that Jesus fights with the Pharisees time and time again is they look really religious. They look like they love the Lord, but they're missing the heart of God. And in my own life, I wonder if I kind of treat people like I treat movies sometimes where I, I give them the, the two minute the trailer and then I make my judgment. I decide whether or not I want to spend my time with that person. And in the same way that I wonder how many good movies I've missed because I didn't give them the time of day, I wonder how many people I've missed out on because of my imp first impressions of them. And how many times I've looked on the outward appearance of these people instead of looking at their heart. And at the beginning, I mentioned kind of three categories we might find ourselves in when it comes to learning from this movie. The first one, those who have been judged incorrectly, I just wanna encourage you that you know that God sees you and he sees your heart. And no matter what anybody else thinks about you, God knows who you are and he knows that you are one of his. And to those who maybe are judging other people incorrectly, 
God also sees your heart and he wants you to get it right with him. He wants you to see people the way that he sees them. And so I want you maybe, I wanna challenge you, maybe there's somebody in your life who you kind of haven't been giving an accurate judgment. Someone who you look at them from the outside and you dismiss them. Someone who God sees that you need to see. And then there's a third person, and that's somebody, if you know someone who has been judged incorrectly, uh, I mentioned that I went to that movie with my buddy Ryan and his mom. Well, his mom, part of the reason she was so excited about this movie was because she had grown up with a brother who had had Down syndrome and he had faced a lot of adversity in his life and people had misjudged him many times. She'd always been an advocate for him. And I really just pray that we would be people more like Ryan's mom, her name is Linda. Pray that we'd be more like Linda, people who know, see people for their hearts and advocate for them. If you see somebody being misjudged, stand in, be that encourager. I have been so excited for this At The Movie series and I pray that you have been looking at these movies and honestly examining your own heart and bringing it before the Lord. Thank you.